You believe in inherent eroticism of a bickering married couple. You believe in the inherent eroticism of the phrase, Notice me, senpai. Or your only exposure to the franchise is the game. You can pinpoint the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise as the origin to your crippling addiction to edgy boys that have trouble talking about their feelings. You just really think it's funny that Amy can't tell any of the male hedgehogs apart. You just wanted good things for Silver and or Blaze. You're just, like, really horny. You just wanted good things for Tails and or Cream, and really, who wouldn't? You specifically wanted good things for Cream, and you specifically wanted good things for Tails, press F to pay respect. You're the kind of girl who sees an edgy, passive-aggressive boy, and you say to yourself, I can't wait to fix him. You like the dynamic of Sonic and Sally, but you're also an edgy girl who likes to cosplay as Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie. When asked, would you fuck your clone, you say, only if they're edgy. Nothing personnel, kid. You're the same, but you're also definitely a one slur fucker. And your selling point is if their clone is also a robot. You spent the longest time thinking these two were the same character, so you thought it would be cute if they started smooching. You don't get it when people say they wouldn't date their best friend. I mean, aren't you best friends for a reason? Your ideal relationship dynamic is Batman and Catwoman. You actually like Sonic Underground. Two bros chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. You just want stuff to be canon and wholesome. You just wanted good things for Antoine. You just wanted good things for Antoine, but you actually read the comics. You like the idea of having more LGBT rep in this franchise, but you hate the ground that Ken Penders walks on. And really, who doesn't? You agree. Your only exposure to this franchise is the movie. You really wanted half the ships in this video's joke to be, 